Hey everyone, welcome back to My Apple Zone. And today was a big day. Today, Apple finally launched Mac OS X Lion. In my previous video, I said I was going to go down to the Apple Store and have them install it, but I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and download it right off the Mac App Store. It was available at 6 a.m. California time, and as soon as it was available, I went right to the Mac App Store and downloaded it. It only took about 40 45 minutes and the installation was really painless, quick, and easy. Probably the easiest uh, upgrade or installation of OS X that I've ever done. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the uh, demo of OS X Lion and stay tuned at the end of the video because I'll be announcing the two winners, that's right, two winners of a copy of Mac OS X Lion. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to take a look at is Mission Control, and to activate Mission Control, you can do it one of two ways. You can do it like you used to with Expose and drag over to a hotspot, or you can simply take three fingers and swipe up on the trackpad, and you're into Mission Control. Uh, and Mission Control combines dashboard with Expose with spaces, and by spaces, I mean additional desktops. Boom, another desktop, another desktop, another desktop. And now what you can do is create different working environments. For example, I'm going to take Final Cut Pro and drag it to this desktop, and that'll be my video editing work environment. I'll take my web browser, and I'll drag it there, and take this other web browser that I have open, this other web window. And let's see, finally, I'll take uh, Pages, and I'll drag it over here. Now I've got uh, one, two, three, four different working environments. Let's go to my video editing working environment, and uh, if I want to get back to uh, the different desktops, I can take three fingers and scroll left or right, I should say. Go left and then right, there's the other desktop, there's the other desktop, there's the other desktop, and go back in and scroll in between the different desktops. And of course, you can also scroll uh, to the dashboard as well. So I'm going to go back to this desktop, go back into Expose, I'm going to create another desktop here, and now I've got five desktops. If I want to delete a desktop, I can simply come over here and click that little X. Now if I want to move uh, pages back to my main desktop, I can click on that. I go back into Mission Control and drag it back to that desktop. And I can go back into this desktop, go back into Mission Control or go back into this desktop, or again, just scroll left and right in between the different working environments or the different desktops. So I'm gonna get rid of this desktop really quickly. And the next thing we're going to take a look at is Launchpad. And to, to launch Launchpad, you can do it one of two ways. You can come over to the dock and click on Launchpad, and there are all your applications, or you can take uh, four fingers uh, and squeeze right into the middle of the trackpad and that also gets you into Launchpad. Now <clears throat> many of you who are familiar with uh, the iPad and the iPhone and uh, have used the iOS operating system will notice a, a lot of similarities in Launchpad and uh, you can scroll in between the different screens and the, of all your applications and you can also create um, folder. So I've already created this productivity folder with uh, pages and numbers and I can come over here and drag iPhoto over iTunes and that creates a music folder. Not quite what I wanted but that's okay because I can always change it. I can come back here and call this cool stuff or whatever I want to call it. And of course I can always drag uh, the application out and put it back into the pile of all the other applications. So for those of you who are familiar with uh, the iPad and the iPhone, you'll be very familiar with Launchpad. So let's quickly take a look at uh, resizing applications. That's changed. Now you can just take your mouse and grab any corner like that go over to this corner, drag it over there, I can come up over there, I can drag this corner right here, and I can drag this corner right there, or I can drag again like that, just like that. I can resize any which way I want now by dragging from any corner. 
So let's go ahead and take a look at About This Mac. There's some changes there. Click on About This Mac. You'll see software update is available from About This Mac. And we'll click on More Info. And we now have uh, a summary of uh, your computer right here. Processor, memory, graphics, serial number, software, displays. It shows all the displays that I have hooked up to my MacBook Pro, which is only one. Uh, storage, this will look familiar to those of you who've hooked your iPad and your iPhone up to iTunes. It'll show uh, your storage based on the category of the application, photos, movies, audio, and backup, etc. And then memory, uh, it shows how much total memory you have installed and the uh, number of, mem of memory bays and memory modules that you have. This uh, MacBook Pro has two memory bays and I have a four gig memory module in each one for a total of eight gigabytes. So that's uh, about this Mac. So let's take a look at full screen mode. I'm going to come over here to iCal and click on iCal. And in the upper right hand corner, you'll notice a new icon. Just click on that icon and the application goes into full screen mode. It uses the entire real estate of your monitor, which is great for people like me who have bad eyes. And to get out of full screen mode, just hit the escape key and you're out of full screen mode. And then swipe up to get back into Mission Control. I love Mission Control. I love how Apple has reorganized uh, Exposé with spaces. They've had, This is so much better uh, than the previous version and is going to be uh, a lot easier to use and uh, uh, you guys are going to love Mission Control and uh, spaces. So let's take a look at um, the Finder real quickly. I'll come over to the desktop real quickly. So come over here and open up the hard drive. And you'll notice under Favorites now, there are two new categories, All My Files and AirDrop. Click on All My Files, and All My Files is exactly what it says, All My Files. And it's uh, sorted by images, PDF documents, music, movies, presentations, developers, spreadsheets, etc. Let's take a look at AirDrop. Now I'm going to show you guys AirDrop in an upcoming video because I don't have any other Macs on right now with OS X Lion. But really AirDrop will look for other Macs with OS X Lion installed and you can then simply transfer files by dragging and dropping over your Wi-Fi network or over your, your wired network. So there'll be, say there'd be another computer right here and uh, you'd take a file and just simply drag it right there and it would simply do the transfer. Pretty cool. I'm looking forward to using this and uh, I know this is kind of bogus because I'm not showing you how this feature works but uh, I'll show you how AirDrop works in an upcoming video. So that's AirDrop. Uh, I know I covered it uh, extensively in this demonstration. So a copy of OS X Lion goes to Rocker622. Rocker622 you are the subscriber to my channel that wins a copy of OS X Lion. Get in touch with me so I can get you a copy. And the Twitter follower, my Twitter follower, Jamie367P, Jamie367P, you are also a winner of a copy of OS X Lion. And I will be tweeting out the winners of OS X Lion here shortly. So everyone, thanks for joining, thanks for subscribing, thanks for following, and thanks for entering the contest. So congratulations to the two winners of OS X Lion. I uh, really appreciate your support. And for those of you who didn't win, you know what? I'm going to be doing more giveaways, so just keep checking back. I do giveaways all the time. I give out. I've still got an iPad 2 giveaway that's coming up really soon once the channel hits 10,000 subscribers. I do iTunes gift cards giveaways all the time. Uh, I'm doing giveaways all the time, so as long as you keep checking the channel, as long as you keep following me on Twitter, you'll always be updated. You'll know when new videos are coming out. You'll know when I'm do doing new giveaways. So just keep following. Uh, just keep watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like the video, if you like OS X Line, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It really helps build the community and supports the channel. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you later.